Joanna, what an incredible summer you had. How's, how's things changed since the Olympic Games for you? It's been a complete whirlwind since the Games. There's been so many events to go to. So many schools wanted me to go and visit the kids, going back to see my old cycling club. So loads and loads of events keeping me busy. But I'm also back on the bike now, so it's quite hard to fit everything in. But I have really enjoyed it. It's been great fun. Everyone that rode to the London Olympics just said that it was just the most life-changing experience with the atmosphere. Is, is, it, is it possible now to put into words just what it felt like? It was absolutely phenomenal, but for me going into the race, our coach has always said, it's just another bike race, don't let it overwhelm you, just get on with the job in hand. So right up until that final, I was 100% focused, but it's now looking back and reflecting on that, that I've realised quite how big a thing it actually is. And the public response has been huge, and I never could have imagined everything that's happened, like a gold post box, and my face on a stamp and that sort of thing. So it's been absolutely phenomenal. Since the summer and the, the win of Bradley Wiggins in the Tour de France and uh, Team GB success in the Olympic Games, there's such an enormous growth in cycling and in particular women's cycling in the UK. How can we capitalise on this and keep it moving forward? I think we need to have a lot of small women only events. I think it can be quite daunting going out with a club run, which is mainly men that are quite experienced. So for people, women starting out cycling, you need lots of women's only events. And then also more races as well, more entry level races for women to get people competitive as well and get people racing. Action Medical Research put on the great diva rides around the UK and all the women out there that are looking to take part in these. How do they get started in terms of getting on the bike, uh, getting themselves moving and, and stepping up to the challenge? I think the diva rides are a fantastic idea, so they're absolutely great. First of all, we need to get a good bike, comfy saddle, very important, some good kit, some good shorts, some good gloves, some good shoes, those sort of things, which you can all get from a good, bike, lo good local bike shop. So those, get, get those basics right first before you start doing any long distances. And for yourself, where do you go from here out of Olympic year before you go to Rio in four years' time? Yeah, well, next year's going to be all about road racing for me. I'm on a new road team, so I'm really looking forward to riding the Tour of Qatar to begin with in January and then carrying on racing throughout the season on the road before I get back on the track next winter. Next winter, our event's going up to 4K with four women, so that will be a whole new challenge. Hopefully, some new world records to break as well. So I'm looking forward to that.